Hey everybody, Happy New Year. I wanted to show y'all something because maybe this won't make the home theater people alienated. Did I just say that word? I guess I did. Because I'm a snooty two-channel guy, right? But the way I have this room, you've probably seen that projector up there. The way I have this room set up is these chairs are on swivels because we can pull them over here from the where we normally sit. We got that screen there with uh and and in the walls here these are BG Radia. These are killer ribbon speakers. These are LS 600s I think they're called. These are bad to the bone. This is like a um like a quarter inch solid um aluminum baffle. Their things are intense. I mean look at all those ribbon too, all the tweet the tweeters. I don't even know how many there are, but there's a lot of them. And then there's a um this is acoustically transparent and then there's a speaker behind there, it's also a ribbon. And then if we go back over here, these are these are the rears. Um, let's see. Yep. See, and they have that cool little arrangement there. Uh, and then I've got up here are the rear. Well, those are the rears. I guess those are the side, rear sides or whatever the heck. And then those are up there. And then if we go into the closet back here, See, this I keep in the closet, so nobody knows. But it's all home theater stuff. So I've got the Oppo that I don't really use anymore. I got a fire stick, and I use that. I've got the Marantz, whatever, big dog thing. This I, I bought all this stuff, like, I don't know, three years ago or something, four years ago. I've got the big old Emotiva, because I know Dan. He's a good guy. These are BG Radio subwoofer amps. Actually, I can turn this thing off. No, no, like that. Well, like that. Yeah, there so we go. just as easy. And let's see. There goes the emo. She's coming up. And then we got this puppy. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Yep. That's all I need. And then I got the fire stick on back. Um, I'm not going to use the the Oppo. So let's rock it. Um. That's for subwoofers. Um, BG has these subs that are like, they fit into the wall cavity. They fit into a stud bay. that So they're like, you know, four and a half inches um, thick. And then and, and, and you, you can put them into, a, into in the walls. And they have little, they have like 12, I think they're like three inch drivers that all face one another. And they're supposed to, I don't know. I hooked them up out. I haven't put them in the walls yet. I hooked them up out uh side and just leaned them up against like the the speaker and, and they did not sound anywhere near like what my other ones sound like but like these they, they didn't sound anything like this these things um so anyways and then here's the projector it's a jvc dila you know whatever i bought some it was a pretty sweet reference series you know it's probably nothing now but um it's pretty dang good uh um picture look at this little guy he's getting all excited it's my brother's dog his name's stony um anyways um yeah so um i hadn't used this in in ever since i i, I flipped the room around so it's been about a couple of years since i've used the um the projector and everything and i turned it on and it all worked perfectly went right back on the sound sounded good and everything and all the surround, everything is working, and it was great. So we've been watching a couple of movies here over the holidays, and I know I've dipped out. Um, I had to dip out and just take a little rest over the holidays um, because it was just, man, you know, this is this is takes a lot. <laughs> I had to relax. So we'll be back. I'll be back shortly with more stuff. Um, look at that. You see that thing? That's a sneak peek. That's the new AGD. Um, uh, the AGD audio preamp and DAC. It goes with these um, new. I don't know you've seen these new um, little Audion. He made them a little wider, and um, you know they're they're he he changed them. He doubled the capacitance. He made them pretty sweet. They they just if you haven't seen the uh, Six Moons review, these just won a Blue Moon award. These amps right here, and um, he uh, just read it. Read about the AGD, and then there's also the. Vivace, which is that one over there. Um, 
and and the, he he talks about both of them. Srijan does. So, um, anyways, yeah, look, there's the Balebo. We got to play with this thing again, man. This is that wicked Japanese deck, you know, that was thirty five grand that I picked up for thirty five hundred. Um, so, anyways, um, yeah, the room is a total mess. I've got to clean all this stuff out. These speakers need a home, so somebody take them. I'll make a, a crazy deal on them. They have, they're, they've got, they're, they're three ways. There's a 10 inch, which is killer for drums, a 10 inch, like mid bass and, a, um, and, a, an air motion tweeter, which is like a pleated diaphragm Bema, both of them. And then a 15 in the sub cabinet. Um, and the, the, oh, they rock, man. I mean, they're seriously, they're like club nightclub speakers. I've got the, the drivers are facing the wall right now, but, um, Man, I, I tell you, I would sell those for $4,000, including the drivers, the crossover, everything in there for two of them. Somebody just get them. I don't have the room. I need to get them out of here. Um, so they're going to, you know, I'll, I'll make a stupid price. I mean, that's a, the, the, the paint job alone on those things was 1200 bucks, you know, and, um, and they're doubled up MDF. So they're really heavy and solid. Um, and, and those things will absolutely, totally rock. Um, so anyways, I'll put up, I'll put up a, um, a, uh, I'll put up a, um, an ad for it or, or one of those, one of the emails. Look at that. Dark Star Orchestra. Anybody into Grateful Dead? These guys are the closest thing to the real McCoy, even better than the remaining members of the dead, which are playing. And it's only like Bobby and whoever, Dan, what's his name? You know, the, the young, I can't even remember his name. Um, whatever, the guitarist that took it's in, in place of Jerry. But anyways, um, so that's that. I'll be back with some cool stuff. I've been poking around in uh, in these things. These are my these are my mono blocks, the Vera Star monos. Look at that. Those are all KT one twenties, eight of them per chassis. Yeah, you think there's some power? Uh huh. Yeah, pentode power. It's awesome. So this thing. And um, I'm, I'm re-biasing. I just put the, uh, well, I just, um, see, that's my load resistor. I just, um, I put, um, I just put the KT-120s in, had 88s, and I put 120s in, and now I have to re-bias them. And so I had to, see that little funky thing there? I made a bridge rectifier, um, a full-wave bridge rectifier out of little diodes. I soldered it together and covered it in polyamide tape and wired it in to give us more negative bias. So I can, um, um, so I can get these things biased up. But anyways, those will be really cool when I get those things so that I can, where, where I can bias all the tubes up, um, and I'll, I'll have that done in within a week. Um, then I want to put those tube amps with these little guys and I'll bet you they're going to sound so good. I think that's a perfect amp for these things. It's actually the perfect amp for the Magnapans too. Uh, yeah, so we'll play around with that. Look what I got. Look at that thing. Um, this is a, this is a rubber glove that is good for a thousand volts. It's it's rated class class zero. It's supposed to be oh yeah right because zero zero is five hundred volts. So it's class zero max use volt a thousand volts AC. So you can just go grab. Man, too bad those guys in India that dance on top of the trains don't have these things. Man, that's they need something like that so they don't. Get electrocuted and turn into crispy fried chicken like they always do. Anyways, okay, so I'm not going to show my face because I got my shirt off and stuff and it'll look pretty disgusting, but I'm getting ready to watch a movie. So anyways, just wanted to check in and say, hey, I'll be back with more stuff soon. So Someone's see trying to take my chair there and he's like, he's hears me, but he's ignoring me right now. Aren't you, Stoney? Yeah, I'm old. There he goes. I see this little guy. He's coming over here. Get us the face. Hey, Buster. Who loves dogs? I love doggies. Yeah, see? He's cute. Cute little guy. <laughs> My name is Stoney. <laughs> You're here now. Thank mm -hmm. you. 